Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls and a day in the life. Oh my goodness, you guys, we have lots to do today. Let's get started. Um, I kind of already did. So I was <laughs> cleaning already and I'll I have more cleaning to do as well but I am starting a bread recipe, a different one. And so I thought I'd start showing it with you, um, just kind of the beginnings of it. And I will link the recipe down below. It is the Food Nanny um, recipe, and I'm using her Kamut flour. It is the best recipe I have made of bread. And it's pretty easy. I don't even have to get a mixer, if you can believe it. So let me show you. So this recipe makes two loaves or like six of the little mini ones, but I have two bread pans and I'm gonna make them. And look at how they turned out the last time. It's like a piece of bread, like literally, like normal sized and everything. So um, I just kind of try to cut them a little bit on the thinner side. It's about a regular slice of bread, but it is made with Kamut. I just actually I just broke that one. Guess I'll have to eat it. <laughs> but you can see I am very, very low. So I'm gonna get my stuff ready to just start making this. So it's pretty easy. I have to start with the sponge part of the bread recipe first. All right, I just put my hair back. So now I'm ready to go. So first we're gonna do the sponge part to this recipe. That's what I meant to say. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we need four cups of flour. Get that going, one. So this recipe will have a total of seven cups. Now this is my largest uh, glass bowl. I might need to get the big silvery ones out because it's gonna, poof, it's gonna rise a lot. So, okay, I have my four cups here. I'm also going to need a third of cup of honey. So this recipe does not have sugar in it, which is yay. So now I have to go buy more and more honey, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. And then I need two tablespoons of yeast. Now I put my yeast in the freezer, so it's ready when I need it. Now keep that tablespoon around because you're gonna need it in a little while for some salt. All right, so now we're going to add three cups of this nice warm water. Now I just put it in the microwave for about a minute and I did like a temperature gauge, one of those food thermometers. So I do know that this is about 115 degrees. So you want it somewhere between 105 and 115, but more than that, it could, I guess, burn your yeast. So I'm right at the point where it might be a little bit warm, but I'll bring it closer and let it get, Give it a couple more seconds to cool. So I'll bring you closer. All right, I gave it a nice mix. So I'm just gonna cover it with some saran wrap for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. But in the meantime, I already have to clean my kitchen. So I will do that while we're waiting. Okay, sinks are clean. A lot of progress is happening right now. Now I lay my uh, dish soap sideways like that to let me know and everybody else know that that is near empty. And I like to just put a few drops in the, in the drain so they don't stink so bad. Not that they are right now, but it just makes it even better. And I am going to plug in this essential oil diffuser. I love using that better than burning a candle. So um, Kobe got me this one for my birthday. He knew I wanted it. And this smells just like the Anthropology um, candles, which if you've ever been to Anthropology, anything there is really expensive. And especially their candles, they can run over $100 but this is the essential oil that smells exactly like their candles and it was $20. So now I just put it in here with five to 10 drops and let it go through the day and it smells so good in here. Do you wanna know another hack that I have for this smell because it smells so yummy? 
Okay, at Target, you can find their Smartly brand products of cleaning. Like this is an all-purpose spray and hand soap. It smells so much like the Volcano Candle. Um, and these are really great price. Like this is under $2 for this big container. And this is like $3.50 for this soap. And so um, I have a feeling now that I'm sharing this secret that I might, I'm gonna have a hard time finding it. So just save me one, okay guys? <laughs> but this stuff is so good. So do yourself a favor, at least go smell it and see if you like it. And two bucks, three fifty. what a great price. And then I just keep refilling them around the house. So it lasts a while and it's really good. So that is just also a little hack from the Volcano Candle Smells. They're everywhere. You can just find them. And um, so I found this out from, I believe, the Lolly Jane girls on Instagram. So they're good. It's good. So or you can see back here, let me show you. It's been like 10 minutes and it's already starting to rise rapidly. So I'm, it's gonna rise for 30 minutes. I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna knead it for about five minutes. We have to let it rise a couple more times in there. So all in all, it's gonna take a couple of hours, at least maybe three hours. So I'm home, we've homeschooled. Let me know down below what you are doing today. Um, I'm gonna tell you after this, I have to go do some carpool. Um, it's been 30 minutes and it's now time to do the next part. You can see it's ready. Take a look at that, goodness. All right, I just kind of deflated it and then added two and a half more cups of, um, of the flour. And then I'm adding a tablespoon of salt. So it calls for like fancy French salt and I only have sea salt, so, but I've already made it, it's super good. And so now we're gonna put the other uh, third of a cup of the honey. So the, all in all, this recipe has two thirds of a cup of the honey. So, oh man, I really need to go get more honey. Trying to get it all out. <laughs> And I have some melted butter, just a, a few tablespoons. Get all of that in. So you can see it doesn't have too many ingredients. It's kind of like splitting it in half. I'm just gonna try to get this all worked in. All right, I have it out on my counter. The counter is nice and clean. I'm going to respray the bowl and do that off to the side because once my hands get a little dirty. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is just knead it. Now I am not that great of a kneader. I don't normally need to do this, but I am going to just do my best. So do what feels comfortable to you. Um, and then we're gonna add some more flour. So about, I have a half a cup here, just waiting in the wings to kind of do and, and add a little bit more at a time. Just trying to mix it in a little bit and then I'll start kneading it some more. But this seemed to work for me last time, just kind of squeezing it into there. And so what we're doing, we're looking for that consistency where it's not so sticky. Let me know down below if you are liking these bread recipes. I'm, I actually am really enjoying making bread. So I am all about trying some new recipes. And if you could hear, it's a little bit of a workout, but I love it. So you probably wanna do this for about five minutes. Okay, so I just put it right back into my bowl, put a little more saran wrap, and we're gonna wait for about 20, 30 minutes. We just kinda want it to double, so it's gonna probably fill this up mostly again. And then um, I'm gonna start preheating my ovens pretty quick here at 400 degrees. Ooh, it's nice and puffy. It was like touching the, the saran wrap. So I am just gonna give this a cut in the middle because that's kind of what I do, you guys. I love my little kitchen shears for this. Whenever I'm making dinner rolls, I love these. It makes it so much easier. So we have here some more um, kind of exact halfway down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like, just 
just kind of get it in and then slam it. So use like all of your like exertion because you're trying to get the bubbles out. That's what Lizzie said at the food nanny. So we want to make sure it has no bubbles. <laughs> I have to say this is like my favorite part. <laughs> and you can see I have it here ready in a greased pan. Let me do that again because it's so fun. So we're kind of tightly wrapping it, so to say. And mmm, mmm, so fun. So now we're gonna do this another rise. 30 more minutes-ish. And about halfway through, I'm gonna turn on the ovens to 400. Now we want the ovens nice and warm at 400 because we're gonna drop it down as soon as we put it in. All right, these are about to go in um, a 350 degree oven after it's been at 400 degrees. So it's nice and hot, and then I'm gonna dial, uh, dial it down, so to say, and those will cook for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. But I had to show you what I got in the mail just now. Because I'm, play I'm paying for my Walmart Plus now, it's past my trial period, they sent me this box with lots of little free goodies and another shopping bag. So these are one of those cloth reusable ones and I needed it because I'm going to be doing a huge, well, that means my, my oven's ready, a huge Walmart grocery haul um, with their mobile scan and go. So it's going to be so fast getting out of there, which I love, so stay tuned for that video. Um, these need a bake and I can't wait. Um, my house smells all kinds of good here. Look at this bread, oh my gosh. I mean like, look at it, it's beautiful. And I have two of them. So right now I'm just going to like dump it on, or not, I'm just gonna dump it in the trash, no. I'm just gonna put it right there and let it cool. Now this is gonna be the hardest part because I just want to just rip it open, throw butter all over it and just enjoy it. I'm gonna let it cool. <laughs> and I'm going to let it just come to a complete cool or as much as a cool as I can because I actually have to go get my kid from school. So I'm doing carpool this afternoon. Plus I have to go get the car from the shop. I am not a fan of car problems. <laughs> Who is? <laughs> so Kobe and I actually have to go to our mechanic. Luckily, he is super nice. So we're gonna be taking care of that. And then I'll be showing you what we're making for dinner and then what we have planned for tonight. All right, it's time to cut it. Oh, ooh. So I put these, I'm gonna cut these in half and put them into the freezer so that mostly for Paul and I to just have fresh bread when we're ready for it. But you know, I have to taste it, woohoo. I like the heel. What do you guys call that? The end of the bread, what do you call that? The heel, when I was a kid, I called it the butt. <laughs> but look at that, oh goodness. It's got good like, it just looks like bread. Like no pocket, no air pockets. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. My favorite bread by far. Okay, it's time to go get the car from the shop. All right, everyone is starving. So I don't know about you guys, but we eat dinner at 4.30. Paul gets home at 4.30, so when he's walking in, like literally sitting at the table waiting for him because we're hungry. So my kids will get home from school and they pretty much don't snack. I think the high schooler does because he gets home like early, like 1.20. So he'll have a little snack, but I can just tell they're ready. They're ready to eat like now. <laughs> but what we're doing tonight is we are going to soccer practice with Ezra's team. So he loves soccer practice. This last week has been a little bit off because his coach has had COVID. So um, we're, we're, he's back, we're glad. And so Ezra's super excited. So now it is time to start dinner. 
So we are making some fried potatoes because I made baked potatoes yesterday. So fried potatoes with um, a broccoli cheddar soup with chicken in it to pour on top. It's really good. So if you've been watching me for a minute, you've probably seen me make it with baked potatoes where I put the soup in it. It's kind of a variation of that. But I wanted to tell you like how I do this. So I will cook a whole bag of chicken and decide how much will go into a baggie. Usually about three to four pounds will be enough for two meals for our family. And so I will leave it in this bag. I just kind of pull it out of the crock pot, put it in, let it cool down, put it in the baggie and put it in the freezer or in the refrigerator. And then when it's time, I just kind of like massage it and then it breaks up. And then I don't have to cut it into little pieces. It makes its own little pieces. So this is like the best, or I even have done with a rolling pin. Take out that frustration. No, I'm teasing, but you know what I mean. So you can see it's already shredding right before your eyes. <laughs> okay, so what I do right now is I'm gonna get the baked potatoes that we need. And I'm just gonna put them in the microwave for like a minute just to kind of give them a little bit, like get some of that coolness out of it before I start frying them. All right, so I just cut all of this broccoli, like pretty big, a pretty big head of broccoli. So I'm just cutting it into smaller um, pieces. This will help it cook faster and um, it's good for the bites, right? So we're gonna get this in its pot and I'm gonna add the soup to it, which, I have, I make my own cream of chicken soup. So it has um, gluten-free flour in it and it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna add that into here and add a, a jar full of water, let it do its job. Cook it through. Okay, so I've diced my potatoes, my oil is getting hot and I have my soup here and I also added the chicken in there as well. So when it's all nice and hot and it's like incorporated well, I'm gonna add some cheese and it makes it so easy. So I'm not sure what the actual, <laughs> I've never really done the real recipe for broccoli cheddar soup, but I'm guessing it's very close because it tastes delicious. So make it easy for yourself, right? Cream of chicken soup, yum. All right, so we're getting ready here to start frying. Look at these yummy potatoes, great. And you can see my soup has come together nicely. So all I'm gonna do is now add the cheese. It's gonna be good. And I'm already toasting up some bread for everybody. All right, so everybody's got a dish. And I always make something for Paul's lunch. <laughs> so we have um, a couple of, of our kids are a little on the pickier side, but that's okay. So everything's separated, but everybody else is good. This is one of those meals that I think everybody really, really likes. Do you wanna see something funny? Um, okay, so all of these, I love these pictures. I love vintage art around the house. Um, I had made this area a little, like not that long ago because, you know, I um, just kind of wanted to bring all of the art into all of the places of the house that I love. So I just love these little displays of art. So I got these off of Etsy and um, they came in like a 12 pack of different like art pieces. They're all like location places. Um, so you can see like that's out on the outside with the trees and this is outside like looking at a city. And then this is like a, an oceany one, but let me show you up close. Okay, so you can see it's like a, a boat and like sure it's gorgeous, but every time I look at that, I think it looks like a bug. Doesn't it look like a bug? Is it just me? Let me know down below if you see a bug too. Ew. So now I can't unsee it. And now Ezra's like, where's the bug? <laughs> All right, it's time to eat. All right, so we are now on our way. We've had a lovely dinner. We've had family time. We are on our way to where? My practice. His practice. So we're so excited. It is kind of later. It's been a little chilly. I have a jacket. I have a sweater, but... 
I think we'll be okay. Let's go. So I thought that I would do my nails while we're at practice. I got these nails, these fake nails, the impress ones. I think they look like, oh yeah, they look like this. I got those from Tina for my birthday. So it's a little difficult doing it sitting in a camping chair, but they'll look good. my nails so pretty they have some different variation of colors looks good so how did practice go good good uh did you guys do lots of drills and stuff mm -hmm. yeah is it a little cold outside no all that running around huh mm -hmm. how much do you love soccer so much so much. And that is it. We are all done with our day in the life. It's been a busy day, got lots done, but I'm so glad that you came along with me and got to just see another day that we get to spend together as a family. Ezra was super busy with soccer. I was super busy with bread. I will link that recipe below. I hope that you'll try it. It might just work with regular flour, but that would be kind of fun to try. So have a wonderful day, rollers. Stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.